everyone, it's Tammy and Happy New Year because today we are having corned beef and cabbage, which is a staple for New Year's Day for me. So this is actually New Year's Day 2020 that I am recording this, but I'm thinking I might not put this out until next year, like maybe right before New Year's so you guys can use it for your New Year's Eve if you want to, or maybe I'll put it around things or um, St. Patrick's Day because corned beef is also great for that day. But anyway, <clears throat> I'm just going to do a basic corned beef and cabbage with carrots and potatoes, and I'm going to do it in a Dutch oven. So I just have a Dutch oven on the stove. I'm going to go ahead and turn that on, put it on eight, and then you need a nice corned beef brisket. And um, they are kind of gross when you get them. So I like to wash it. I don't know if that's a good thing or not, but um, that's what I have always done because I don't like all that mess. But I do get the one with the seasoning in it and I use the seasoning. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna open this up and rinse this off in the sink so you guys can see how we go about that. Let's see. Okay, so here's the sink. It is gross, I'm not going to lie. I don't like touching raw meat anyway, but... So I'm going to take that out. And then there's like a big thing of fat on it right here. I'm going to cut that off too. Actually, it's not that big of a piece of fat. It's flat, so I'm going to leave it on there on second thought. Okay, so I'm just going to take this. Ugh, I should have brought my pan over here. Ugh. Okay, I'm going to put it in Whew. Okay, get it back. Now, let's empty this out. And throw this in the trash. automatic soap thing which is very nice so I'm just using that to wash the seasoning packet off. Just to clean off these scissors. And then I'll put the scissors in the dishwasher too. Ugh. Okay, and then I'll clean the sink and um, put the dish, put the scissors in the dishwasher. But I just wanted to show you that. So I don't know if you can hear it, but it's already kind of starting to sizzle. So let me move you over to here. Ugh. The potatoes are in the way. So it's just in there, and I'm just going to take some water. And I want to cover it up with water. Actually, what it to, I don't want it to be folded like that. There we go. I'm going to let this cook like that for about an hour and then I'm going to come
come back and there's going to be some stuff on the top, like some foamy, yucky stuff. And I'm going to take a something and get that off. And then I'm going to turn the <clears throat> liquid into broth by adding my beef base. And I'm also going to add the seasoning packet and I'm going to add a little bit of butter. So that's what my next steps are. But for now, excuse me, for now, this is good. I'm going to go ahead and cover it and let it cook for about an hour. I'm actually going to turn it way down, I think to two. And just let it do its thing. I'm going to leave some air open so it has some air to go. And that's that for right now. So until next step. Okay, so it's been about an hour. And surprisingly, there's not a lot of stuff on the top. And maybe that's because I rinsed it. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the seasoning packet and add this. I don't know what the seasonings are. Never really paid much attention, but it seems to be in every one that I do. And then I'm going to get a spoon and I'm going to put a big spoonful of this. Oh, sorry. <laughs> wow, that was unexpected. I'm going to put a big spoonful of this beef broth in because I have a lot of water in here. Actually, I think I'll just take this and stir it around in there. And that will dissolve. It's just a beef base. I like this better than the bouillon. And I like it better than beef broth. It just has a really nice, rich flavor. And that's it now. I'm just going to let that cook for another couple of hours. And then I'll be back and add some potatoes and carrots and cabbage. So I'll be back. All right, so it's been another hour or so and the meat is still cooking. I'm gonna turn it up a little bit. I think I'm gonna turn it up to three. And I have just oops, peeled and washed my potatoes. So now I'm just going to half them. And well, I'm not gonna quarter that one, but I'm gonna quarter some of them <laughs> and put them in here and I'm going to get a little cutting board to make my life easier. I was just trying to show you what I was doing. I'm also going to add the carrots and then I will wait a little bit on the cabbage. package of small potatoes. I didn't mean to, but made it more difficult for peeling them for sure. Not only because you had to peel more, but also because they were so small. And if I don't have room in my pot, what I'm going to do is I will take the meat out when it's done and I can just let it uh, rest as I'm cooking the cabbage. The cabbage won't take very long. And I can just boil it in the broth. I might have room though. And then I'm cheating on the carrots. I just bought the pre-cut, pre-washed baby carrots. And I'm going to add about a half a pound. And that's filling this up nicely. And that's it for another hour or so. This just takes all day to cook, but it tastes delicious when it's done. So that's that for now. 
Okay, so this is how it's looking so far. It looks really good. And I'm mixing out the cabbage. So I have a big old cabbage that I'm going to try to add to this. So we'll see how that works. I'm going to put you on pause for a minute. Oops. All right, so I have my cabbage. I'm going to see if I can stick it in here. I think I'm going to use it all for this. I might just roast some cabbage because I don't think everybody will eat it. Let's see. Waylon is telling me that he'd eat some, but I don't really believe him. <laughs> Put another chunk in there and I'm sure this is going to be way too much food for all of us but hey you know what I'd rather have too much than too little I suppose and there we go so I'm just going to let this continue to cook for another probably I don't know at least an hour just because I have that much time and I can lower the heat down whatever so the next step will be, it'll be done. Woohoo! Thanks guys, I'll show you in a minute. All right, let's take the lid off and see how this is looking. Woo, it's kind of warm. I'm gonna need to get a pot holder. And it looks delicious. Everything is done, I am sure. Oh yeah. So I'm going to take the meat out and let it rest for a little bit and um, fix a plate and I will show you that. But this is as easy as it gets. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you guys try it. Okay, so I guess one thing I should say is that when you're cutting it, you're supposed to cut it against the grain. So I'm just gonna slice into it. Oh my goodness, it really just it like tears apart I don't know I might not be using the right knife for this I'm really not sure but that's okay because I'm gonna make Rubens out of the rest of it for tomorrow so it's really not a big deal if I can't like slice it because I kind of like it like, chopped anyway so I'm just going to put a little bit on my husband's plate and I'm going to take some of this that's, it smells really good. Put that on my plate. And I'm going to try it just to see how it is. Oh my goodness. Mmm, mmm. It is delicious. I hope you guys like it. I hope you try it. I hope you like it. And um, yeah, Happy New Year. I hope you have a great, fabulous, best of luck in the new year. Or whenever I post this. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.